right behind me is what is known as a rig. I'm learning what it takes to drill a bow in Zimbabwe. If you've been following some of my videos, we did a video on whereby we're actually consulting like what it takes and the steps and getting the quotations. And then the next step that we did, we went for sighting. If you missed some of those videos, please go ahead and check them out. So today we're going to um, drill uh, into the ground so that we can get water uh, out of the ground. So my name is Kuda. I'm on a mission is to learn what it takes to have a bow set up in Zimbabwe. Please leave a comment if you have any questions and I'm going to go ahead and ask these guys some of the bending questions that I have in terms of uh, bow drilling. So let me just show you the last step that we did when we were here. When we were here, we um, had to do sighting and they put a peg or a spot where uh, the hole is supposed to go and they've got all these things and these, uh, this heavy vehicle and I'm going to go ahead and ask them some of the questions uh, of what it takes to drill a ball in Zimbabwe and um, you're going to learn throughout this video. So we, we are actually starting now and we've uh, put in our first rod, the hammer and the first rod, they are already in the ground and our machine is just about to start. But from what I've noticed now is uh, the rod, it has moved in down into the sand like swiftly meaning that the soil is loose so as long as the soil is loose there is need of double casing double casing is important that um we want to have a challenge in which uh, our hole will be collapsing so they will be able to drill into the 180 uh, but so we'll what see. Do you mean, what do you mean by double casing what does double casing mean okay when we say double casing what i mean is first we put the the bigger casing which is the 180 millimeter that's the one that we put in first whilst they are drilling to avoid the whole collapsing so the casing will act, will act as a guide so level they will now change the hammer and the drill bit voice hammer dick so you would find kuti pano chinjwa hama casing wombe ndo pa inoshika each gara because you are saying kuti casing ichaenda i wombe but ichazoneswa ichange ya diki meaning kuti casing wombe ino no gara pa perera pa chinjirwa the hama now kana wapedza ipapo vaso tiva pedza kuchera they will now put the 140 mukati me 180 ndo ya tenge taa kushidabo casing so how do you check how do you check soil formation as you go into okay. Okay, the way we check our soil formation is for, for each and every road, Ratinoisa, Panos Budiskwabachisa, or soil sample per side. So we'll be able to tell from the soil texture, Kuti, if we're, Kana Kuti, Idombo. Because Kana Ridombo, you can see my particles, Acho Edombo. Kana Richingeri, if you can see from the soil sample, Saka, each and every road, it comes with each soil but sample. How long is that road? 4.6 meters. 4 .6 yes. Meters. Now we are done with the part which is our second stage that we are doing drilling and casing. So as you can see, um, we have actually managed to drill which is our second stage. So drilling was kuchera kwacho kwa tininge tichita and then when we are talking about casing, we are talking about kuisa suma PVC ish, this is the casing part. So meaning kuti our second stage ya pera. Now we are left with the third stage. Third stage ye do ndo ye pump installation. Ndo stage ye kuti ta kwansa kuisa pump mugomba redu. Then pump yo ya iskwa ndo ichange ichita draw mvura from gomba into the tank to kwansa kwa na mvura out. Just like I explained kuti we have got the three stages. First it's sighting, then bow, uh, drilling and casing, then the last one, do ye pump installation. So the second stage, we are done. Tachera, takesa, and uh, for now, we are good to go. So now, to see a tafara, like vafara, gombarabo, so that pasa wani anything, chino, it wa temper with beat, kuti chino kandu wa mkati, kana kuti chingave shichizonzi, chawira imomo. So you close that two parts? Yes, we close it. Okay. 
Okay, we use uh, this highly flammable uh, liquid at ocean desa. Do ya vano inside papa papa. Saka ina we kungo we are trying to take the PVC pipe is soften so that they can actually like over up am soro pacho. So ina we kungo five is achieved the PVC pipe. You know, soften cement. So the drilling process has been done. I've been asking quite a number of questions. And as you can see, that these guys have picked their stuff and they are actually uh, going. And the next step that follows is to get the tank, okay, so that they can actually pour water, so that we can actually pour water from uh, from this pipe to the to the tank, so that we can supply this whole uh, this whole place. So these are the stuff that they have actually added, and they have closed the hole, okay. And according to one of the uh, experts who, was, uh, who I was actually talking to, said the only way to open this is to cut, okay, because it's now sealed. So that's the process of getting bow done in Zimbabwe. And now we're going to go ahead with this series. Just follow through as you learn the next step that we're supposed to take, which is getting the stand and connecting solar and other things like that. My name is Kuda, in case you are watching my videos for the first time, I'm on a mission and in this mission I was creating a series of videos of what it takes to drill a ball in Zimbabwe. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below this video. And at the end of this series, I'm going to give you a breakdown of the negotiations that I took in terms of um, uh, doing this and the lessons that I've actually learned when doing this process. With that out of the way, Thank you so much for watching and bye for now.